What's going on you guys? TBR here back yet again with another Seven Nights 2 video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the in-game shops and what you should be prioritizing with your in-game currencies each and every single day. But before we get into all of that more, make sure if you guys haven't already done so you smash that like button and subscribe and let's go ahead and hit the intro. Alright you guys, so as I mentioned in the intro, in today's guide we are going to be taking a look at the different tabs in the in-game shop and telling you what you should be prioritizing with your hard-earned in-game currency. So let's go ahead and start off with the Topaz shop. So with the Topaz shop here, the biggest thing that I can recommend to each and every one of you is going to be the selected rate up hero summon tickets. The reason for this is of course these things are going to be very rare in this game, and this is going to be one of the few avenues that you have to reliably pick these up. And the rest of these items are going to be things that for the most part are either going to be overpriced or things that you can get it from other means. So I'm going to recommend that you stay away from them, especially considering the fact that your main way of getting Topaz in this game is going to be from Arena and ranking up currently. So this is going to be a bit of a limited currency unless you're going to be whaling. So in my opinion, the best choice that you could make in here is going to be these selected raid up hero summon tickets. And that is going to be what I would use these on. I would save these otherwise because the rest of these items in here, they may seem like they are things here and there that might be enticing, but I would try to avoid them for the most part and try to budget your topaz as best you can, mainly because topaz, as I mentioned, is so scarce. So that's really going to do it for the topaz shop. I don't think that there's anything in here outside of that that's really going to be genuinely worth it outside of those, again, based on scarcity of both the in-game currency and the item that we're talking about here. So that is going to be the first thing. Next up in the common shop, the common shop is pretty straightforward. You're basically going to be able to pick these items up with gold. In my opinion, at least what I picked up is going to be these different enhancement stones. So typically what I'll do is I will pick these up mainly because I can go ahead and convert those in my crafting shop and get higher grade enhancement stones if I need them. So I do like to pick these up, especially considering the fact that if you are grinding appropriately, you should have quite a bit of gold in this game. So this isn't going to be as scarce of a currency, and therefore you can go ahead and pick up whatever your heart desires here, so long as you have the budget on the gold for it. But I would highly recommend the enhancement stones here. Otherwise, you can go ahead and skip this entirely because there isn't a whole lot here to talk about, but those are going to be the main things that are of interest to me. Now, taking a look here at the guild shop. The guild shop is very, very important. Now, the first big thing that you should always pick up, in my opinion, is going to be the daily attack buff. Now, this is going to be a universal attack buff for your account for 24 hours. So what I would recommend is you pick this up each and every single day. You could also pick up these other ones here, like you'll have a defense buff, or you'll have your HP buff, or you'll even have the auto salvage buff, which you'll take in and you'll be able to use to auto salvage items items in the field of exploration, which is going to be mainly handy if you have a bunch of maps laying around and you're planning on just sitting your phone down and allowing this game to auto grind, but that isn't necessarily something that's going to come up very often. So I would highly recommend that you pick up the attack buff, but outside of that, I don't think that these other items up here are really necessarily that much of a big deal. However, what I would pick up here is going to be these tickets. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I would pick these tickets up each and every Every single day, you'll be able to get one of these each day. You'll be able to get a hero summon ticket, an equipment summon ticket, and a pet summon ticket. So those are the things I would recommend. Other things in here that you can take a look at are going to be these lesser XP potions. However, I would largely say that you'll probably want to pass on anything else in here. Just go ahead and prioritize your summoning tickets and then your attack buff. And that's going to be the rate I would go with. But otherwise, you can go ahead and take a look at some of this other stuff. Honestly, Honestly, though, some of this stuff is way overpriced and going to be things that are going to be far off, like, for instance, these pets, this red pet here or this one here might be pretty enticing, but the odds of you being able to save all this up 
over a course of time is going to be pretty low, so I would go ahead and just skip out on that. You'll have plenty of other options in the game when it comes to pets eventually, so I wouldn't worry about wasting 24,000 of your guild tokens on that, but hey, to each their own, but then again, those are the things that I'm going to recommend to you guys in this video. Next up here, we're going to take a look at Arena. Now for Arena, this one's kind of the same as the common shop for me. I would just go ahead and pick up the enhancement stones, to be honest. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one because this one's a little overpriced, to be honest, at a thousand of these things. But speaking of overpriced, all of these different gears in here are way overpriced, in my opinion, and they're really not going to be worth it, especially considering the fact that you have so many avenues in this game of being able to get equipment. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you guys do that. I would just go ahead and maybe pick up these greater enhancement stones heck you could maybe even pick up the rare ones but i wouldn't recommend it but then again there really isn't anything in here you're probably going to be using this currency on very often anyway so you can go ahead and kind of do what you want with it from what i can tell though if this is going to be the rotation of items that's in here then it's going to be kind of lackluster by comparison to some of these other ones but it's up to you at the end of the day ultimately what you want to pick up now next up here soul stones this one i'm not going to get too much into to because this is entirely dependent on who you have and who you're prioritizing so basically make sure that you're paying attention to this though make sure every single day with whatever soul stones you have you're picking up whatever pertinent items you need from here especially for your legendary and legendary plus characters however I can't give you any predictions or give you any recommendations outside of that, again, because this is largely going to come down to what you have on your account, so you'll just have to use your best judgment. And then next up here, we have the friendship points. Now, the friendship points, in my opinion, are really interesting and also very important. I highly recommend that you guys prioritize the Soul Stone entry tickets and the Elixir Refinery entry tickets, because those are going to be things that you need to level up your heroes. However, the other thing that I would recommend here is going to to be these guys here these are also going to be very important for leveling up your heroes and being that the name of the game in this game is going to be cp you'll definitely want to pick those things up especially the soul stone ones because that is going to be one of the most important of all of these different dungeons but any of these tickets here that you find necessary that you could use i would definitely prioritize those but outside of that there's nothing else in here that i would really recommend so mainly you guys prioritize the soul stone ticket the elixir ticket and then go to your rune temple tickets your experience tickets so on and so forth even your gold run tickets all these different tickets in here very very good stuff so if you guys are going to be sending your points to your friends and accepting your friend invites every day, make sure that you're going in here and you're picking these up on a weekly basis because these tickets are going to be available on a weekly basis and not a daily basis, and they're very, very important. So with all of that being said, that pretty much does it for the tabs. The next thing I want to talk about is going to be the Mole Emporium. So what would I recommend on the Mole Emporium? Well, basically with the Mole Emporium, it can be pretty random as to what is going to be in here at any given time. The first big thing that, of course, I would recommend to all of you guys is anytime there's maps, especially, of course, your free maps, you'll want to pick those up. So right here, you always want to pick those up each and every single time this thing refreshes, because this thing does refresh multiple times a day. You'll be able to see that indicated in the bottom corner here. So you'll see that little timer and it'll tell you exactly when this is going to refresh but i highly highly recommend that you guys pay attention to that if you have your push notifications on and you play on your phone this game will go ahead and remind you when this refreshes as well so you won't have to worry about missing out on any of this stuff but i definitely think that priority one is going to be your maps and of course then your xp potions very important as well make sure that you guys pick those up any legendary gear that shows up in here as well is always going to be worth it unless you don't have the currency to afford it because they do tend to be pretty pricey so that's something to kind of keep in mind but they do put legendary gear in here at times and when it does show up if you can afford it go ahead and pick it up other things I would recommend I always pick up any rare gear or great gear or anything like that in here the reason for that is I can go ahead and I can salvage that out if I really want to and get the 
enhancement stones again because I play fast and loose with my gold because gold in my opinion you do get quite often especially if you are grinding this game so being the fact that I do grind quite a bit on this game I don't necessarily ever have much of a problem in that department however it's really going to come down to how you budget and what you have so if you don't have the gold definitely prioritize your maps and your potions and things along those lines but at the end of the day it really comes down to what you have and how you play now any of the other dungeon tickets if those ever show up in here which I have seen those in here those are also really good otherwise outside of that you guys just pick up anything in here that you can afford that you think would be helpful with the gold but avoid anything for rubies typically rubies are not going to be worth spending in here and I would definitely not recommend that you guys spend your rubies on anything in here the only things really that I would spend my rubies on in this game are going to be heroes and masteries outside of that I would try to avoid spending rubies at all costs unless you're a big old whale if you're a whale then go for it but outside of that that would be my recommendation to you guys so anyway you guys I think that that is going to do it for today's guide I just wanted to give you guys a quick guide on the general shop and the mole emporium today because I know a lot of people have asked me what they should be picking up so that should hopefully help you guys out if you found it informative make sure you smash that like button and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one peace Continue.